J.M. Irving Books Hey guys, it's your boy J.M. Irving and welcome to another episode of J.M. Irving Books. I know it's been a couple of days since I posted. Um, I This week has been busy. More like I had to get up really, really early, like on what was it? Tuesday. Had to be at work at like 6:45. Yesterday, were you watching this on Friday? Uh, but on um, actually, not my personal day. Today is Thursday. Okay, I'll say Wednesday. Yesterday, uh, I had to be at work at like 5:45. So listen, your boy is tired. He was tired. Like he got some good sleep. You know, I woke up like at four today, so I am. I'm about to go get something to eat from Panda Express, and I'm gonna come back and read. I might do some reading in the car, but um, you know, I'm still reading the guest list. You bo- listen. I have not gotten very far <laughs> compared to last time. Okay, I am on 166 uh, right now, so I'm gonna try to. I want. I don't know if I'll be able to finish tonight, but um, because I'll be at like eight in the morning tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna try to read as much as I can tonight, and then I, I might even try to start a little bit of the housemaid. Actually, I'm gonna be reading it with a friend. Uh, her name is Sonia from Happy Read. She's just waiting for me to like let her know when I'm ready to start. But I might go ahead and start a little bit of it, let her know, just so I can kind of already be ahead a little bit. Um, and also too because <coughs> excuse me, that one is on the Kindle. So like I said, I've been converted. So I am excited to be reading on the Kindle, so, uh, but yeah, uh, so, uh, you might enjoy a little bit of me getting food montage and stuff like that, and then, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am back home. We went and got us some Panda Express. This is one of my favorite things to eat. Um, got treated by my sister, so I am like, oh. um, comment below, what do you normally get from, if you have a Panda Express where you live, what do you normally get? I get, <coughs> my favorite is the, um, the teriyaki chicken with uh, yeah teriyaki with orange chicken and the rice of chow mein and you gotta get some egg rolls <laughs> this is my favorite so i am gonna try to like read and eat i sometimes i don't like i don't like reading while i eat just because i don't like getting anything on my books but um uh i'm gonna attempt to i'm gonna attempt to try you know what i'm saying so uh yeah so i'm gonna be eating so and always kids whenever you pour you eat you know see your grace you know give the lord thanks you know what i'm saying because this food was made by him so lord thank you for this food and amen amen so i'll go ahead and dig in Try it like this. Get you a piece of chicken, especially that orange chicken, and then you do a bite.
make a mess okay hmm and the struggle's real <laughs> the food was spectacular mmm Got a little rice left, but that's fine. Um, I got to page 181. Um, and it is ooh, it's 7:46 right now. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get to page 200 before I go to bed. I think I can do it. I can manage. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to get I'm trying to get there tonight. Um, I do want to go to sleep at a good time because I have to be at eight, I have to be at work at eight o'clock in the morning. So um, I'm gonna try to get to 200, and yeah, you know, we'll see. So. Stay tuned. Gets kick. I could be a singer, y'all. <clears throat> I could be the next, you know. Oh, well, I don't think so. You know. I'm saying no, not the next Chris Brown. I'm gonna be J M Irving, the singer. That's gonna be me. Okay. So get ready for my album coming out in um, summer of 2023. So we looking out. <laughs> Kick. Some tea just spilled. Mm, 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 mm. It's the tea for me. It's the the fakeness, the uh, mischievousness, the ooh, the it's the mystery for me. It, it's all that for me. It, it is. Lucy, follow you. Know what you're doing, girl. Go ahead. <laughs> this show is good. I'm on page 188. So I got 12 pages to go to get to 200. So I might go a little bit farther and get you know maybe like I don't know 215, 230. We'll see how good it gets. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think I ran it. I think I'm. It's going up to a 4.7 because, uh, like I said, that teeth just spilled, so. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, let, hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. Now, hold on, hold on.
Well, <sighs> y'all, we reached our goal. We started at page 162 and I got to page 217. So um, I'm excited to be updating my Goodreads. Um, so like uh, my progress and so we we reached it guys we, we got a lot farther so um, uh, I hope to finish this book by this weekend so I can go ahead and pick up the housemaid I'm, I'm so excited to read this one because this one last because this has been like something I've been wanting to read for a while like I said if you guys have watched my channel you know when I did my official reads for January I was like this is the book I'm excited to read now that the other ones weren't you know exciting but that one I just heard really good really good things about it and I just read like the first page I'm not gonna lie I read the first page when I got when my sister bought it for me and I was like ooh I was like okay and someone else one of my friends <laughs> excuse me on uh, Instagram they said if you liked Verity you're gonna love this one so I was like I loved Verity Oh my gosh, I still have to do a review on that one, but that book, actually no, I did do a review in this video right here, uh, but it was such a good, you know, um, like the first page was just really, really captured me, like Verity did, so, um, but I don't want to hold you guys for long, <coughs> thank, you, thank you so much for watching, um, I do want to mention that um, the book that I was talking about, one of my new books in my previous video is called Permafrost and Send the Electrify Universe, it is um, up for pre-order right now on Barnes & Noble, I am so excited to be putting this book out there. It's so near and dear to my heart and, you know, uh, pain and trauma and things like that. You know, even though you know, what, what we write as authors, especially fiction authors, we're writing something that is not real, right? But, every, but a lot of things we, we do write are based off, you know, real events, things that things that do happen in our world. And so um, um, it's just, it was really like a good, it was, it was, it was, a, thrill, it was a thrill ride. It was a, uh, just, um, like, it's hard to put into words if you can't tell. And I have a friend named Sonia, which I'll be reading, you know, The Housemate with. She's also one of my early readers. She's an amazing person. Uh, she is, um, she actually read Permafrost early, and she left a review on Barnes & Noble right here. I'll put it here. And um, it was very, really touching to read what she had to say. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys would like to support your boy, go ahead and check it out now on Barnes & Noble. You can go ahead and pre-order it. Um, I may or may not do um, a giveaway or something like that, but um, still trying to get my my platform and stuff on here. But uh, I'm just I'm really excited for this one. I think that out of all the releases that I've released so far, out of you know Mr. Postman, Britain's Bay, and Electrify, I think that you know uh, Permafrost is one I'm really probably most excited for, just because of the story and what it entails and stuff like that and. Um, yeah, so, and it also what it leads to in other, in other books too, so, I'm in the series, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited, and don't forget that I have a Instagram and a Goodreads, and you can go ahead and follow me over there, uh, follow my progress, even if, like I said, I don't mention the book that I'm reading in the video, I still probably will be reading besides that, so like I said, you can still check out my progress on there, um, and also too, don't forget, drink you some water, if you have, if you had, if you're not having a good day, drink you some water, that may help, because you might be a little dehydrated, you know what I'm saying? So maybe feeling like a little grumpy. Um, you may be dehydrated, but if not, read your good book. You know what I'm saying? Pick up the guest list. You know? <laughs> but, you know, I pick up the guest list. Pick up my books. Read it, you know, read a good book and it gets you in a better mood. So and have a great day, guys. Like don't listen, don't fret. God got you. If you got something that you trying to work out and you feel like it's not gonna work, I'm telling you, just pray. Ask God to help you. You know, even if it, I know this is not me forcing my religion on nobody, but if you don't believe in something, what's gonna hurt? What's gonna hurt you if you just ask? You know what I'm saying? Ask him, ask, ask the Lord Jesus to help you with whatever you're going through. Pray. And then if, you know, nothing happens, then you, you lost nothing, right? So, um, yeah, that's my little, you know, we call it, uh, I forgot that thing that people say. Like my little hot take. That's my little hot take right there. <laughs> and so have a great day, guys. And don't forget, happy reading.